going on in this world today. And uh, here from Crossroads, you know, just like Pastor Steve and I went to India this past November, we sent um, Charlie and Sue to um, Mississippi to do a wonderful disaster relief work. And, and I just want to give uh, Susan and Charlie a moment to speak about how first, this was, fir this was Susan's first mission trip. A lot of you that might have that feeling inside saying, well, can I get started somewhere or do something? It's in our backyard in Mississippi. So I want to give Sue a moment to speak about that. Thank you, Pastor. I'd like to first thank the church and Pastor Brian for allowing me the opportunity to go. Life changing just isn't even enough to begin to describe the difference it's made. To actually see God's hand at work um, was incredible how he orchestrated each and every move. The leadership, thank you, Charlie, was phenomenal. The provision of everything. But the thing that really I walked away with the most was the fellowship of other Christians. Seeing so many people from all over the country gather together to work for God's glory. The lives that were ch touched and changed was phenomenal. The friendships that were made was phenomenal. But to see the people, the difference in their lives, they gave so much more back to me than I ever knew could happen. Um, the appreciation um, for the little in comparison to the grand scheme of things that we offered and gave to them was remarkable. Um, all I can say is that if you have an opportunity to do something and use your gifts and talents, do it. If you don't have gifts and talents, do it. <laughs> I did. I didn't know how to do diddly squat, so to speak, but um, I now know how to use a buffer and a router and a screw gun. I can, <laughs> you know, if you don't know something, they'll teach you. They will teach you. And it's just broken down into individual groups, which makes it so much more personal as well. Um, so all I can say is, you know, go for it. You know, don't say no. Don't have an excuse. It will change your life. You see things in a whole new, whole new way. So again, I thank you all for the opportunity of going. And again, Pastor, thank you. Amen. A, li a changed life? Amen. And Charlie leads it up, and um, I want to give him a moment just to share a little bit about what they did and how, how many lives were impacted. Uh, so first, I want to thank everyone for uh, covering us with your prayers and your support. and uh, That was huge for us. Um, just so you know, the, there was a tornado hit the 23rd of December, uh, and it took out, uh, damaged like 200 homes, uh, destroyed 25. Uh, we went down here in January and topped roofs and cut trees and brought houses to the curb. And the pastor down there had asked us to come back because uh, he wanted revival in his city. And um, it, 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 Columbia, Mississippi, uh, you can read about it. It's not a real nice place. So... <clears throat> I said, well, we'll see what we can do. So I put a team together, I called around, and we came up with um, a team called Acts. Uh, and so, <clears throat> Acts uh, 2035, yes. So a couple of God moments. Um, the first night, I don't know if, you, if, if you've ever read Acts in chapter two, there was 120 met in the upper room. Our first night there, we had 120 volunteers show up, which was, Huge for all of us. It was amazing. Uh, uh, we, while we were there, we raised $14,000 uh, above and beyond what was raised before we even got there. Uh, and, and that was all for, I mean, some of it's going to a church that we're going to build in Guatemala, but a lot of it went to uh, the roofs and the houses that we worked on there. We worked on four different houses, uh, putting roofs on them, uh, and those particular houses... Those people were not necessarily churchgoers uh, who ended up coming to our services. Every night we had a morning service and an evening service, uh, a worship center. And they were coming uh, to our services while we were there. And I talked to the pastor of the church we were there uh, a couple weeks ago, and those families are still going to his church today. So that, that was really great. That was really good. Yeah. Uh, we worked on, on um, some of your donations went to those roofs. Some of your donations went to uh, putting in a fence and a playground for a young girl and, and a young mother whose house was destroyed, her whole place was destroyed, uh, and they were devastated. So, so, uh, so we rebuilt their whole backyard and their fence. 
Uh, yeah, that's it right there. There you go. And she did not want to go back to her house because of the storm. And, and you can see she was having a ball playing in the yard and, and having her friends over. Uh, so all in all, we had roughly 200 volunteers show up uh, throughout the week. We had about 85 or so during the day. And, and uh, we had a team come in who cooked our food from, uh, from Tupelo, Mississippi. Um, and it was just, it was just amazing. Uh, the fellowship, uh, and, and we had service in the park. We went right to the park. We had our own service there one evening, and people were just coming around, and, and, and you could see people getting ministered out in different tables from our team. It was a really, it was a, a, amazing, and I would, I would love for all of you to be part of this, you know, uh, uh, coming with us next time. Not, not that we want another storm or anything, <laughs> but when, the, when the, everyone, all you guys come together, uh, it's just truly amazing the, the fellowship that, and the love that you feel when you're in a group like this. Uh, and, and you do. You, you go there to give out all you have, and you receive way more than you'll, than you'll ever give out. So it's just truly a God thing. Praise the Lord. Amen. Oh, you guys, God bless you guys. See, that's what giving to missions is all about. So that you, the life that was changed in you, you could change lives in others around the world. So, so give to missions.